Back at the Undenberg, come up here, slab this, stab this crossbow man, come down here, gonna just stab him to death as well. Oh, his friend joins in, I'll put a little bit of stabbing for you, right? And, uh, gonna come across here. Probably not gonna fight these guys, I think I'm just gonna run right across from them. Yeah, yeah, what are you, what are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do about it? You're gonna do nothing about it. And if you try and chase me, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna wait here and kick you guys off the edge. Yeah. That's how I roll. Oh, oh, you're gonna fall on me, huh? Cute, cute with the falling. Yeah. Yeah, alright, yeah. So, if you guys just stack up like that, that's great for me. I can kill you guys all in like one hit. I was looking forward to kicking him off the edge. That's where we came from. Need to take a right here. There's gonna be dogs. There's gonna be dogs. I'm gonna stab the dogs a little bit. Slice and dice. I'm gonna take a little bit of unnecessary damage there. From both dogs and fire, of course. The two primary sources for the average American of unnecessary damage, dogs and fire. Just didn't trust that wheelbarrow. Just didn't trust it. I also don't trust this guy that's clearly going to try and kill me. Oh, just, just style on him, stun him a little bit with that uh, that kick, and then uh, finish him off. Your standard light attacks. These guys have shields, but they don't seem to ever use them. Ooh, ooh, ay, yeah, that, that stings. I'm about to start bleeding. Don't want that at all. Alright, they're both attacking. I can swig. Oh, line him up! Line him up! Oh, yeah, he uses his shield, but to minimal effect. Any more of those guys? Any more? Okay. Looks like we're safe for the time being. We're gonna come up here. Recover our souls. Keep on trucking forward. And, oh, oh, my camera just freaked out. Alright, here we are again. We wanna just use some pyromancy. We, we're having a bit of trouble. Oh, I was switching weapons. What a dick. What a dick. Swig on the flask. Take some unnecessary damage. Oh man, I'm about to start bleeding if I get hit once more. I'm gonna like lure them around a corner so that at least I don't have to deal with the daggers in addition to the, the melee. Oh no, I get stunned because I don't have enough stamina there. Oh, they have Estus flasks? That's just not even cool. That was greedy of me. I wanted to try and kill him all at once. Took the dagger. That was kind of a hope-based strategy there. I hope they don't attack me. Because if they did, they were going to get damage while I swigged my Estus flask. And there we go. That was, that was pretty bad. I've only got the... One swig, and that's, I'm going to use it here, but we'll venture forth, see if we can't pull off some shameless heroics on this one. Hmm. If we're going to do some shameless heroics, we might as well do it without a shield, right? Switch that drake sword. See how they happen to like that. The old, oh, dang. That dog. Large soul. Ooh, we see some white up there. The white shrouds. I'm actually not gonna rush for the white. And you know what? It's actually a lot safer to just, even if you can only one hand your weapon. This looks promising. Even if you can only one hand your weapon, it doesn't really matter. You should still probably walk around holding your, uh, your shield out. Just because that way. You, uh, you're a little bit safer. You're going to take less unnecessary damage. Alrighty. Let's check out these. So, the weight's pretty comparable. It looks like just the fire resistance is lower. And right now I'm not dealing with so much fire. Fire and magic a tiny bit. But, I think right now it's probably worth the physical. Um, we can also check out, I think, 
We're going to have less poison resist and curse resist. But we're going to have just as much bleed resist with this armor. That doesn't seem like much, but uh, after you stack it all, you'll end up with a good amount more armor against physical attacks. See, I don't really like how much you sacrifice all other defense for, uh, for armor against physical there. So we're going to equip that. We look substantially more like them now. We've got some fog up here, but that fog seems suspiciously like a boss battle. I happen to I happen to know better than to just walk right into that. It's a trap. Whatever, I've got a Drake sword out now. That was with them blocking it, it was still doing that much damage. Without them blocking it, it'll one-shot them. It's, I guess it's a pretty decent-ish weapon. And, you know, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd give it like, uh, like 5 or 6, I guess. By that, I mean it's absolutely ridiculously powerful this early in the game. And you should absolutely equip it. Absolutely 100% positively equip it. The merchant is ahead. Well, I like merchants. Yes, I do. I like merchants. How about you? I don't really like this, uh, this guy that's trying to kill me with a bow and arrow, though. Would've dropped it. That'd be cool. He doesn't. I'm devastated. Can't go up any further? This must be our merchant over here. You're still at the Marcellus is about here. Then why won't you buy some of my nets? I need your souls. Please. Please. Ah, that's maybe the creepiest laugh yet. It's really the only reason why I, uh... Why I bother listening to them, the NPCs nowadays, is they all laugh maniacally. So you can buy all sorts of stuff here. Notably, you can buy humanity, which of course is useful later. And you can buy these stones that will uh, break curses on you. Very important at a certain part later in the game. Homeward bones, also nice, but I got a stack of those. For now, I'm actually going to buy some of this pine resin. Just a couple of those, because... Being able to enchant your weapon is very, very nice. I could also buy some super fancy arrows, but... Come again with me, please. <laughs> but I'm not so much all about the uh, using a bow to deal damage. I only like to use them to uh, lure enemies out. You might say, Tom, Tom, you're running away from the boss right now. What are you, chicken? And the answer... Yes, I'm totally scared to go into a boss with zero Estus flasks. Are you crazy? Why would I ever do that? And this happens to just bring us right back to the Firelink Shrine. So why, you know, why you guys got to judge, all right? I, I, I need a little bit more Estus flasky goodness here. I know where to get it. Oh man, that dealt a lot of damage through guard. All right, I'm just going to make a break for it. I'm making a break for it through these level 1 trash mobs. I need them to not even follow me very close, because if they do, I won't be able to use my fire shrine without killing them first. Success. Drop another point to vitality. Of course. And I was thinking about repairing at my bonfire, but I just realized that, that ability costs 2,000 souls, and I haven't invested in it yet. Aw, oh, oh, weak. Weak. Lame. Lame trash mob. I should just use my Uchi getting on these guys. They're only going to take one or two hits anyways. Oh man, just seeing that drop made me remember how much I want this guy's shield. I want it. Give it to me. Dang it. The real benefit is the stability. 
Having it cost less stamina to block things is really nice. Fall to your doom, sucker! I'm just gonna stab all day. You don't even know. You don't even know how much I'm gonna stab. Stab you, stab your friend, stab everyone you've ever known. Coming back at it. We want to fight that boss. We want to fight that boss hard. Hmm. Does it say anything useful? Wait a minute, luring out. Oh, I guess he does get lured out, doesn't he? Oh well. He's easy to kill. Not even a problem. Gotta love the ragdoll physics. These guys have a trap for somebody coming from the opposite direction that I'm coming from. Just abuse that range. That is the way to take care of these guys. No Estus Flask for you. Ow, oh, ow. Oh. I almost let him have that. <laughs> I was out of stamina. I accidentally threw a kick there. There's gonna be another dog up here. You can either kill the dog or you can just try and uh, juke up. Alrighty, so here's how you kill the Capra Demon. You start off, and there's stairs on the, on the far left corner of the room. You want to try and beeline it there. Don't get greedy and try and pick up your souls on the way. Just run straight there, roll if you need to to avoid the Capra Demon's attack, and um, you, you should be able to make it up there without dying outright. Uh, once you're up there, the dogs can follow you, but the Capra Demon can't or won't, uh, so you can fight the dogs and pick them off, and then engage in a one-on-one -on -one against the Capra Demon. So alright, here we go. That's the strategy. Let's see how it pans out. I'm gonna get greedy and try and grab my souls on the way, of course. Uh, you gotta do that, for sure. I don't mean to give you guys mixed signals, it's just that, uh, I don't always do what I say. Oh, I thought he had fallen down, but he didn't. Able to take a couple swigs here, dog's coming back up. Oh, when I drop down. So I'm just going to make my way back up there, cautiously, while guarding. Oh, that was BS. I should have been... I think that I should have blocked, personally, but... There we go. You gotta use Fierce Attacks if you're using an Uchigitna here, because otherwise your, uh, your weapon gets stuck on the wall and you don't deal any damage to the dog. It gives them a free shot on you. Wait until they're not attacking you, and then take them down. Alright. So now that that's taken care of, it's time to fight the Capra Demon. I was hoping to get to uh, do a plunging attack or two onto him. Ooh, he actually managed to lunge across there and get me. Alright, I'll heal up, and uh, now I'll do a plunging attack onto him. That hits for some good damage. He's charging up his attack over there. I think I can get off two fireballs. Nice, nice. And so I'm just going to try and kite him back and forth and hit him with my uh, my fire magic until I'm out of fireballs. At which point that will obviously stop being such a great strategy. Damn. All of his two-handed attacks can break your guard if you haven't upgraded your stamina with the Pyromancer class, so... Um, I think if you have the undead hollow soldier shield the one that I keep talking about, you actually can block that because the stability is higher. So it burns less stamina. But I don't have that, so... No deal for me. Oh, really? This actually looks like a glitch you can probably just abuse. Nope, nope, he's, he's wise to it. Let's give him a little bit of the old roll and fire. He's charging that up, I can get off another two fireballs. There we go. 
He's almost done for here. Just switching back to my Uchigitna here. I need him to whiff some attacks before I try and finish him, though. Alright, that's one, two. I'm at half health, but he is dead. Get a key to the depths. 